Hi, welcome back to The Distressed Princess. I'm Rhonda. Today, I am so excited to take you with me to the Christmas tree shop. Now, this is not a store that we ordinarily have in my area. And so for those of you who have this year round, you are so lucky. But I've never been in this store before and I'm so excited to check it out. And you guys get to come with me. This is one of those temporary stores. In fact, Spirit Halloween was in this building last month, but it originally was a Macy's, and before that, it was a famous bar. Does anybody remember that? I have to apologize, because when I filled this, I was so excited when I got inside this store, I forgot to flip my camera to landscape. So that's why you have the colorful bars on the side of your screen, but I tried to make them festive. See, they're red and green. So having never been in this store before, I had no idea what prices to expect. And I have to say that 90% of the things I picked up and checked the price, I was shocked and surprised that it was a lot less than what I expected. Some things were, you know, a little higher than what I would want to pay, but I'm a real cheapskate. <laughs> um, like this white Christmas tree is beautiful. $15. Eh, I, I would have liked to pay $10 for it. <laughs> I thought $15 was a little much. But this lantern for $34.99, I think would go for $50 or $60 anywhere else because it was so large. They did have a lot of what I would say quality, well-made wooden items. But I thought these little light-up lamp posts were a pretty good deal at $6 a piece. And I imagine pine cones and birch logs and branches in these cute baskets. As you know, my last video was Cozy Cabin Christmas, so I'm all in for the cabin decorations, like this red buffalo check on this black lantern, yeah, yeah, and all the cute little deer. They had every color imaginable for your snowmen and Christmas trees for your whimsical side, too. These rustic cabiny like candle holders were one of my favorite things in the whole store and one of them did go home with me. And lanterns, lanterns galore in this whole place. Every shape, every size, every color. And now that I'm looking back at this video and seeing these snowmen that were only $6.99 a piece, I think I'm gonna have to go back and get one of those too. I loved this white metal tree, but right beside it was this polar bear. And then right above him was a deer. Oh my heart. These deer, I love them so, so much in their little sweaters. And they had different color sweaters. This one had his green sweater on, but some of them had a red buffalo check sweater. And one guy had a gray sweater on. And I can just picture this guy standing under my tree. They also had these um, shredded wood kind of deer too. And I really think they're adorable too. I turn the corner and see these cute little Christmas cats and some more of the wooden decorations that I like a lot. Um, this one's actually a sleigh. I didn't notice that at first, but for $13, I think it's a pretty good deal. It'd be cute to put your utensils in for your family Christmas gathering. And there's just too much. My gosh, just look. It just goes on and on and on like this. I really, really loved this wooden centerpiece with the hurricane candle holders in the center. I wasn't able to check the price of it because it was probably on the bottom. I didn't want to move it around that much. 
I really loved this metal lantern too. I thought it looked really nice. It was just a little more than I wished to pay, so it stayed on the shelf, but it was a really good size. If you dare to, I think this would be a really good store to take your kids into. I think they would absolutely love all the elves and the little animals. There's just a lot of stuff I think that they would like. But for me, this reminds me of a vintage style. I, I think this would just go really good with the vintage style Christmas decorations that you might just see coming up on this channel. It may be in the works that I might make some vintage Christmas crafts. I turned around and I saw this purple Christmas stuff and I've never seen purple and gold Christmas decorations before. They had, oh, as you can imagine, Santa Clauses everywhere, but not just any old Santa Clauses like I've ever seen anywhere else. Look, this Santa Claus is wearing a sweater that has a deer on it. He's got some sweet boots. He's got a cute red plaid jacket. He's carrying a sack and he's $29.99. And eh, if you were a collector of Santa Clauses, I think you'd have a wonderful time in this store. And here's something else I think could go with the vintage Christmas stuff, the pink and the blue. Yeah, is that giving you a 50s vibe? I think it does. This was a really nice thing, a mercury glass hurricane for $8. That was a real steal. Look at those cute little wooden snowflakes hanging off of it too. And when you turn the corner to go to the next aisle, you see just how much more there is. Like you could spend all day in this store, plan to spend a lot of time in this store. I really loved that wreath and these Santa mailboxes, but they were a little beyond my budget. Every aisle had different stuff and everything was packed on these shelves too. And you can see boxes around that they hadn't even got to put on the shelves yet. And so I think you could go back multiple times during the season and see new stuff. My eyes landed on this light up candle and so I had to try it out for you guys. Hang on and we'll see what it does. The little kid in me really did jump up and down when I saw the glitter fly up in this candle and those lights started changing color. And the crafter in me started jumping up and down when she saw this crate. How stinking adorable is this crate? I'm really thinking I might have to get a part-time job at this store just for the employee discount. I did see on their door that they were hiring and it started at $15 an hour. That's not too shabby for the distressed princess. <laughs> and then I would turn around and spend the entire paycheck on things like this. Wait till you see the price. Wait, wait. Oh, is that a Dollar Tree price? I believe it is. They had trucks galore in this store. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> and they were $19.99, but a good size. Some more crates, but then, ooh, look at this. The red buffalo check caught my eye. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a really, really nice thing. I looked around to try to find the price of it, but I, it was probably on the bottom and I couldn't turn it upside down, but ah, I loved it. I liked these hurricane glass candle holders and here's another Santa Claus. I think this one's even cuter than the last one. This one's holding skis and I love his sweater. <laughs> this one's holding a different kind of skis. He's more of a vintage Santa Claus and there's that dang buffalo check thing again. Hey, what? It, you can see the price on that one. What is it? I zoomed it in so we could see $34.99. And it appears that all of the Santa Clauses are $29.99 no matter how they're dressed or what they're carrying. 
but they sure are hands down the cutest little fat bellied Santa Clauses I've ever seen in my life. I know some of you have probably spotted a gnome or two. I'll get back to the gnomes, don't worry. <laughs> but first, I had to show you this, a galvanized bucket with some greenery and some candles and what's the price? Too much for me, but ah, cute. Okay, here are just a few of the gnomes in the store. Don't worry, there's more coming up, but this is a small army of them here. But I would personally rather have one of those crates than one of the gnomes. <laughs> I'm not sure if my footage is really capturing the sheer volume of stuff in this store. It's just mind-blowing how much there is. I wasn't really sure how much of it you guys would really want to see. I wasn't sure uh, what all you would be interested in. So I really videoed the entire store. But I, I didn't focus a whole lot on the wrapping paper section and the food section, just uh, decorations really. I thought that they had a pretty good price on these Christmas tree collars if you're wanting to try something different for your Christmas tree this year. I have one that I had bought from Walmart last year and I know I paid more for it than what these are priced at. Now we come to the wall of ornaments. It is a really long wall with every ornament you could imagine or think of in every color to suit your decorations. And I'm not gonna go through all of these ornaments with you. To give you some idea of the price, I saw that they were not individually priced, but they were like two for five, two for seven, two for 350, like that. The garlands were really, really nice. Now they reminded me of some expensive garland that you would get at Hobby Lobby, but for half the price. These garlands were, well, they varied. $24.99, some were $29.99, but they have the really good branches on them. A lot of them were flocked. They had really nice ornaments on them. Like you wouldn't have to do anything to them. They're ready to go. This more traditional one was calling to me. I liked that it had a couple of different kinds of branches. They were the more realistic looking branches at pine cones and berries and really goes with the cabin theme, I think. And they also had tinsel, of course, and beaded garlands in all kinds of colors. So this is the aisle I was thinking of when I said, maybe you should bring your kids to the store because they would love it. Look at these snowmen in these colorful, cute colors. I love them. <laughs> they don't match a dang thing that would be in my house for Christmas this year, but he was so stinking cute, as is everything in this whole aisle. Here is another one of my favorite things in the whole store. It's this house. <laughs> it's supposed to light up and it has, a, I wanna draw your attention to the little pretend lights on the roof. That's the thing that I loved so much about this. And look, they had one in pink too. I love those, they are adorable. Here are some gnomes and elves on sleds. Have you ever seen such? <laughs> and these are the right cutest gingerbread houses I've ever seen in my life. Look how sweet. This one has a gingerbread standing outside of it. Here are some funny looking long-legged gnomes, <laughs> but the elves, um, something about these elves were um, touching my heart, like this little girl elf holding the kitty cat. Now, why would I like an elf girl holding a kitty cat? I don't know. <laughs> this was one of my favorite sections in the whole store because they had some really nice looking Christmas pictures. Some of them were $4.99, some lit up for $7.99 and $12.99, but they were extraordinary prices. If you've ever been to Kirkland's to see how much their light up pictures are, you'll know. <laughs> this was a really good find, but the ones that don't light up and that were just plain, 
They were $4.99 and they had some really cute prints. Next to the pictures were picture frames and I really liked this one and this one and this one and that one. They have things similar to this at Walmart, but this really beats the Walmart price. $2.99, you can't do better. Here's some more stuff that I thought looked like vintage Christmas. I love the little reindeer. Doesn't he have such a sweet little face? And you notice the little stars on the snowman there. Very 50s. And I like the face on this Santa too. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Um, <laughs> I think it would be really cute to have some mittens hanging from it. I like it. Here are some really nice tags that I think would be really cute on a front door. And they're only $5.99. And I know Dollar Tree has similar stuff, but let me show you. These are a lot thicker than the Dollar Tree ones. And so I think they'll hold up a lot better. And these black ones were a lot bigger. I wish I had something to show you for scale, but they were only $9.99 and they were a gigantic size. The next section I'm heading into is the outdoor section and they only have a few Christmas trees. This is, this surprised me. This little gaggle of Christmas trees are the only ones that they had in the whole store. I didn't see prices on any of them. I tried to look on the boxes for prices and I didn't see any prices, but I, for a store called the Christmas tree shop, I expected a lot of Christmas trees. But what they lacked in Christmas trees, they made up for with every other department, I guess. So heading into the outdoor section, they had every different kind of yard stake you could imagine. A giant inflatable Santa Claus. I really thought there'd be more inflatables too, but he was the only one that I saw. And they had, oh, these gorgeous wreaths. I really liked this one with all the trees, but still that's more than I would want to pay for a wreath. I would sooner DIY one than pay the money for a wreath in store. They only had a few outdoor decorations. I feel like Home Depot and some of the big box stores might have a better selection, to be honest. But there were a couple that I really wanted bad, and that was this gingerbread house and the other little, is it a Santa shop that sits right behind it? Ah, uh, I wanted them. I wanted them so bad. They're $34.99 a piece. Oh, and they do have a Rudolph too, but I couldn't find a price on him anywhere. They had these packages of candy cane lights for outside, and I may have to go back and get some of these. I mean, they actually were a pretty good price. They work out to be about $2 per cane. There's four in a package, and it's $8.00. Look, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. That's pretty cute. I really wish they would have had one set up on display though. I thought these metal outdoor decorations were really cute. I love the colors of this snowman. Leaving the outdoor section behind, I was greeted by these ginormous gnomes. The next section was housewares. So they had all kinds of plush blankets and throws and rugs and bath mats and kitchen floor mats and everything to set up your house to decorate every room for Christmas. These were a couple of my very favorite rugs. Oh gosh, look at those mittens. <laughs> Oh, mercy. And this one, too. Oh, the deer. I love the little deer. Now, the ones that were foamy like this one were a little more, but still a good price, I think. 
here's a great bargain, a queen size flannel sheet set for $20. You can't get that at Target. They didn't have any king size out on the shelf, but I did see that the full size was also $19.99, so maybe they're all just $19.99. I don't know. Last year was the first year I ever decorated my bathroom for Christmas, but I didn't have any Christmas bath towels. So I'm going to have to go back and pick up some of these, I think, because they're cuter than the ones that I saw at Home Goods later on that day. They had an amazing display table full of candles and candle holders. And of course I had to go right for the deer, you know. He was a little expensive, I thought, so he's just gonna stay right there on that table. But good prices on the Yankee candles, I think. Uh, probably comparable to TJ Maxx prices on all of the candles. I'm gonna do a little sniff test here in a minute on a few of them and let you know what I think. But first, I had to point out this tree bark candle. He was really cute. By the fireplace was a very pleasant, cozy smell. Christmas cookie was sweet and yummy. And gingerbread loaf smelled good, but I was a little disappointed. It was kind of a faint gingerbread smell, not real strong. They had a bajillion of these stand-up characters. They were all $14.99 a piece. I saw this thing in Target, and I really can't remember what the Target price was. It might have been $30 at Target, but oh my gosh, isn't it cute? It's just such a vintage looking old radio, and it has special little channels. When you turn it on, it's got the North Pole weather station, and then it's got some little Christmas music. Of course, you know, this is all pre-recorded. It's going to play the same stuff every single time, but oh, it's just so adorable to set out. This candle holder reminds me of one I made back in the summer that had seashells in it. So, you know, I love it. And oh, my vintage heart. I love these little guys, this little Santa and this little reindeer and even the snowman. But what? does appear before me, but vintage looking ceramic light up Christmas trees for $10. That's a steal, but I wanted a white one and it's, this one's the only one left and it's missing some of its little lights. This one looked like it was white, but it was actually a pale blue and I really, really wanted a white one, but I don't know. I'm thinking about the pink one. I don't know. Maybe the light blue one. I don't know. I don't know. But I think maybe I might have to go back and get one if they're not all gone. I'm slapping myself for not getting at least one of these colors. I, what, what was I thinking? Oh, and more gingerbread stuff. These should have been sitting with the gingerbread houses earlier. Now come with me down Santa Row. Here are all the different kinds of Santas that you see throughout the store. There's a whole big batch of them in this aisle. Here is a Santa Claus dressed in pink holding a teddy bear. I thought he was pretty cute, but what I thought was even cuter beside him, Mrs. Claus. And oh my gosh, how I do love her. Look at her plate of cookies she made to fatten her old hubby up with. And look how she's pointing her whisk at him like, Santa, you better eat these cookies and like them. And this Santa wearing a chef's hat, holding a teddy bear. He's got a whisk too. I can't stand it. These Santas are the cutest ones I've seen in my life. And then they had a whole aisle full of nutcrackers, which I never really thought I cared for until I met these nutcrackers. <laughs> these ones are such cute stinking colors and have the cutest little details. I think I really would like to have some of them.
They had a really good selection of super cute Christmas mugs, and most of them were $3.99. I think I saw one that might have been $4.99. I'll show you in a minute, but it had the lip on it. You know how like when you want to drink your coffee or your hot chocolate, and your, your bottom lip falls on that little spot that they've made perfectly for your little bottom lip to go on? Yeah, that's the kind of mug that I like, and they have it here. Yep, that's the one, and he's $4.99. I've never had a special dinnerware just for the holidays, but this is making me rethink the situation. I think maybe I would like to eat my suppers on a special Christmas plate and eat my <laughs> cereal out of a special Christmas bowl. Those ones I showed you were the real deal. This one's the melamine and only a dollar. I can make do with that. And the Santa mug. I was really hoping I would come across one of these today. Okay, I know I probably can make one of these milk jars because I have milk jars. I can just paint it, put some vinyl on it and be done. But for $3.99, why would I go to the trouble? Just buy this. Yeah, I think so. A special sugar and creamer just for the winter time because this this isn't just Christmas to me this is warm and cozy this day out all winter my goodness gracious this stuff really had me wanting every bit of it I don't know what it was about this aisle I wanted all this cute kitchen stuff and here's a crafty idea for one dollar this cute ceramic container Melt down some Dollar Tree candles and use their wicks and make a special Christmas candle. And on my way out the door, I see that they really did think of everything. Everything you could need for Christmas, including Christmas toilet paper. I really like this store. Now they've got to come back year after year after this. They can't take it away from me now. So I hope you enjoyed shopping with me today. If you want to see some DIYs, click the link I've provided for you right here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.